I run the uh, uh, manage the IT operations for Asia Foundation uh, for the U.S. We're a worldwide company uh, with 19 country offices and then a few offices in the U.S. Uh, I, as far as my experience with video conferencing, most of it has been with uh, Asia Foundation. Is their their main tool is Teams internally. However, we became a Zoom customer once the uh, pandemic started and to be able to communicate with people outside of the, the company, external partners, vendors, uh, especially for our country offices, Zoom seems to work a lot better uh, for, for video chat. Um, so very familiar with Teams, now very familiar with Zoom as I become the, uh, the global Zoom admin for the company. I mean, as far as the implement, implementation, it was simple. I mean, we had Zoom up and running within, uh, I'd say, a matter of uh, 30 minutes, an hour. Really, There really isn't a whole lot to, to do other than for uh, from a security standpoint, we set up um, SSO. So we have single sign-on with our, uh, our Azure Active Directory. Um, but that was probably about the extent of the, the setup. The rest of it just kind of took care of itself as far as what, what we needed to do on the back end. Yeah, and some of the custom settings for Zoom, uh, that was just a quick review, but it's pretty straightforward as far as how to use Zoom, how to manage it. Breakout rooms, they have, they, breakout rooms is managed really well, um, especially uh, webinars, functionality, it's uh, very simple. It's uh, very much the same, similar experience to just a regular Zoom meeting. And I think the fact that Zoom just works everywhere. It, it works uh, mobile phone, mobile devices, uh, on, your, on your desktop. Um, but I think just from a, the client standpoint, the client just installs very easily as well. So, you know, anyone pretty much can use Zoom and not really have to be very technical. I know initially they were having some security issues uh, as far as the Zoom bombing. Luckily, we didn't have that because we require all of our users to single sign on and just kind of stayed ahead of the curve, advising them to use passwords for their Zoom meetings uh, or uh, require registration, various options like that. So I really haven't seen any major limitations. Uh, as far as, as far as what features I would like to see with Zoom, uh, I mean, it pretty much does what it needs to do. So works pretty well already. Teams, we still, Teams is our, our, our app of choice for internal communication. So for, for group chats, having channels, uh, group channels, one-on-one, uh, -on -one or even internal group conversations, meetings uh, within the within the organization. Teams works really well with that. the The, the difference between Teams and Zoom is that Zoom is um, it's it's a better platform just for video conferencing, especially outside of the organization. Anybody that's that's that doesn't use Teams or doesn't or have to have familiar familiarity with using Teams, especially, like I said, in some of the uh, country offices or you know, in Asian countries, for whatever reason, Teams just doesn't seem to work as well out there. So. I'd give Zoom an, a nine. I mean, of course, there's always areas of improvement, but I mean, as far as the product works well, very easy, simple and easy to use. Um, there are our rep. She's always been very responsive, very helpful. Anytime we had questions, um, we were able to get those answered and uh, assistance when we needed it. 